in the last episode, our tavern was finally finished. And I've received an award, Builder. That is because I now should have one of each building. So what the tavern does is pretty simple. First off, it makes you forget to set up a countdown. Uh, the tavern works with only one person. Yeah, it only needs one, it can't be increased. Uh, you can have like a lot of alcohol. And what you do is you first assign somebody. And uh, what you do first, or what you should do first, is actually look what you have in stores. Because you need a certain amount of uh, crop. You make ale from pretty much any kind of uh, plant that would be used to make ale in real life as well. Except potato. I think vodka is actually made... No, vodka is not made of potatoes. I believe there is some sort of alcohol that's made of potatoes. You can't do that here. But yeah, any kind of uh, fruit is basically fair game and wheat. So uh, we'll just go and find out what we have most of and use that for booze. <coughs> I'm not sure how the uh, ratio is, like if you gain one uh, barrel of alcohol for one unit of apples or something. Damn it, we're currently on a declining branch again. I'm, I'm fairly certain of that. Yeah, the overall population is slightly declining. I'm not happy with that. But it doesn't seem to have an impact on the happiness. So that's pretty nice. However, yeah, once we get more resources, we'll definitely uh, get some more um, get some more houses going. Damn it! Why do all the people keep dying? Uh, okay, what I want to I want to see what uh, we have most of. We said we can't make a uh, booze from beef or beans or cabbage. Would you drink distilled cabbage? Okay, so apples would be, uh, berries would be a reasonable pick. Uh, corn, you can't make booze of. I believe you, you can actually in real life. Would you distill onions for their taste and the booze? I don't know. We have plenty of wheat, and I believe it's actually a reasonable choice. We could make another dedicated wheat field, although that would probably be a stupid move, considering we are currently uh, stripping uh, down the farms. But yeah, I believe we can, we'll just make booze from wheat. So we'll unassign one more of you, make one uh, brewer, and tell him to make ale from wheat. But I believe it's one for one. <coughs> so yeah, we should have plenty of, of alcohol out of this. And if it's one for one, this won't uh, really relax our storage situation in the slightest, because you would still have one barrel of, of of alcohol, so uh, we just have to store something else, but that would be essentially it. Uh, note that booze is also a very, very efficient uh, trading thing, so you can use it pretty good for, well, trading away. Though I'm not sure this one tavern will actually sort us, because we have quite a large population with um, probably <laughs> a fair amount of thirst. So uh, I'm not sure we'll actually get anything out of this, or if it will just all be uh, quaffed down immediately. Also, let's look at our, our tavern from uh, up close. We have a little tavern sign, look at that. A little tavern sign, and uh, a guy sitting in front of it, who's just doing nothing. The herbalist is idling, look at that. Uh, some barrels here, some, some second level up here. It's also right next to the church, which uh, I believe is something I remarked on in the past episodes. A lot of boxes, I'm not sure why, why they have that many boxes over here. This would look suspicious to me. <laughs> like, definitely, why does the tavern have that many boxes? I mean, it's not like they're importing that much stuff. We are not importing anything right now. Not a lot of food merchants. There is no need to import. Okay, do we have any wheat in those? Yeah, we have. 
So the uh, the bro shouldn't actually have that much trouble. Oh yes, I can. Oh, he's working from there. Seriously. Okay, but yeah, he, he's carrying some wheat, and that's uh, actually one thing I I kind of didn't like about the game is that you, you can't see everybody working. Like Settlers Two had this, um, just as my my example here, uh, they had this this very very. Uh, nice addition that you could basically see everybody work like whenever they were in the building you could see them work you, you could see okay this guy is currently having resources you, you could see everything at a glance you didn't have to click the building you could see okay there is something in front lying in front of it and it, it's like they, they need two resources they only have one there so you need to make sure they get the other thing like you, you knew okay they have coal and they have uh, like they have plenty of coal, but they don't have gold in the, the mint, so you need to get you need to make sure some more gold is mined somewhere, and then like that, yeah. Which I found pretty cool, and you could actually just see the guys working, which which was uh, so much of the actual charm of the Settler series. That you could just see them all working, you could see them all being busy, except the millers who were just lying around. But you could see people being busy. And I found that great. It's it's something that I lost a lot of time to, and it's it's just something that I personally like. I actually don't really like those uh, those uh, indicators here all that much. There's, 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 we don't have a tool thing. So you're 80, you don't need a tool. You're gonna kill over anyway. Uh, but yeah, it's it's just a a bit of adorableness that's that's lost. But it is not too bad. Like we we get plenty of. Uh, I think the game is satisfying as it is, and it's it's really well done. You you have to say that. At least I feel you have to to give it that. It's really well done. Yeah, we're down to twenty students again. So uh, we had twenty four last video. Also, sorry about the noise outside. I'm not sure why they're doing it. Okay. Wow, they're, they're actually soaring quite a lot. We have 140 wheat. I'm not sure how much ale they are making out of this. We're not just sticking around to see. Is the, the brewer still in here? No, he's not. He's picking up resources. He's going quite away for his wheat. I oh, know he, he's probably not picking up wheat anyway. He's. I believe this, this could actually be one of those things that basically do themselves. Like uh, the the actual brewer doesn't have to be there to uh, get the booze. He just needs to be putting in the resources every now and then, and that's it. I mean, it's kind of how brewing works. You really don't do that much when you brew things. I, I never did it, but I had plenty of. Um, uh, you learn about it. Like Germany is like the beer country at least uh, they, they, they feel like it's a big beer country so uh, everybody learns the the basics of brewing and um, actually I actually did uh, make wine once in, in chemistry class uh, back in school now last year we decided to make uh, wine I, I don't know what the, the I'll just look up the uh, translation for that quickly I uh, actually still have six bottles, and it might very well be the last six bottles at, uh, in existence of that stuff. Uh, I think a rose hip is the uh, the word I'm looking for. Uh, dictionary. Yeah, rose hip. So we made rose hip wine. Uh, partially because rose hips were freely available. Uh, I never drank it, so I don't know how it tastes. I don't know if it's still good, but I still have six bottles. We we got out like uh, I believe twenty or so bottles. Oh no, we actually got more. I think we got around twenty-five bottles, and we gave some of them away to the teachers. So uh, we ended up with sixteen bottles, which were distributed among the two remaining uh, pupils, and. Uh, Thus, yeah, I ended up with eight bottles. Or was it six? I think we might have twelve. I don't know. I have to go count, but I, I believe I have eight bottles. 
And uh, I still have those, I'm not sure what to do with them, because I still don't drink, and uh, after what happened to my brother, I, I'm not going to touch that stuff at all. It's, it's one of my big uh, principles that I've, I've stuck with all my life. I don't touch alcohol. I mean, I did touch it in the lab, but uh, you know what I mean, I, I won't drink it. Okay, apparently making alcohol takes a long time here. Which is accurate. Maybe they actually uh, turn all of it into uh, booze? I don't know. Oh, oh, why? The thing is I can't purchase anything here. So... Dismiss. And never come back. Uh, <coughs> so... Uh, in other news, the uh, next Let's Play for the Friday slot will be revealed soon. I know what I'm most likely going to Let's Play. I actually have two cannons, but I have a confirmation of one already. Uh, the other one would be... something that would be a, a bit like Banished, I could say. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable thing to say. It's a bit like Banished, but uh, it has a bit more. It has a bit more action, a slightly, a slightly more action going for it. Uh, also a bit more managing, and I actually have to get back into playing it. But I, I, I did a fairly decent job at it once. What is it? Okay, now. Okay, now it's, it's back. I think it was just auto saving. Who knows? I, I hope it's recording. I, I'll be really mad if all of this didn't record and I have to do it again. I know we are low in tools, my friends. But we're getting there. Like This has been 120-something last time. And we're getting it down to, to 94 now. Although I believe some of that actually is because the uh, people who don't have tools just die out. No, they didn't. They take their tools to the graves, which is kind of weird. You'd think if this is a Christian uh, church, they don't take anything with them to the graves, but we still don't seem to get the tools back. They can take the clothes back to the grave. Uh, we don't care about those, but <laughs> we want those tools back. Uh, okay, it's still 140. And the brewer is inside, so he's working. It's this thing, actually. Ah, okay, I can view the work clothes, can you view the how oh, where are you living? You're living quite a way away from that. And to be honest, this tavern looks like it could certainly house the uh, the brewer as well. Like this little bit up here, this, this looks like it could be just a, a small room for the brewer. And we don't have any guests that, that stay, so you don't really need to keep that much space up here. Who knows, maybe he wants it so. But I think back in the days, taverns were like uh, also used as, uh, or could be used as inns, so you could just sleep there and then rent a room there. But I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. Like, I'm not sure where the, the distinction was, and I believe you could also hire, uh, rent a room in a tavern for a night or two. At least in this time, I'm not sure how it's done today. I believe today you don't actually have any taverns, really. Uh, Anyway, you can have a room in those, and I believe the... Uh, well, it wouldn't be a brewer there, it would be uh, an, a tavern keeper there. Who would probably do the brewing and uh, like serving and, and cooking and stuff. Or who, who, who would just keep the place intact. But I believe they would have reasons to, to live in there as well. Even if it's just, it's a building, it's big, and it has space for us. But yeah, if your your guests want something, you probably have to be there anyway. Or you'd have to pay someone for being there, and that's expensive, so you wouldn't want that. Okay. You know, it's a real shame you can't build a graveyard just probably around the church. I would really like to do that. And then make a big graveyard that goes like, around here, and then maybe this this corner. I, mean, I could do it, but I would have to build like three graveyards for that, and I don't want that. I, 
mean, that would just look silly, and we really don't need that. Also, we are getting low on students, which means it's a uh, it's kind of kind of a wave of uh, of pupils again. But we're having two stones, two stones, and our builder is getting something to eat. It's literally lying on the streets, but he's getting something to eat. Also, yeah, we're going lower there. Did any families actually die? Yeah, actually they did. We had 100, ho 100 homes and 121 families. We had 140 last time. So some families have in fact died. I believe those are the next. Okay. And I'm quite sure I had other plans for like this little stretch here, but I believe I'm going to build houses here as well. We need more homes there. Only 20 more homes, but we need more homes. What I'd also like to do is kind of expand that way here. Because look at all this, this unclaimed land on the map. A lot of those lakes, I believe they, they are procedurally generated, but they all always follow the same like rules. So they only are like puzzled together from almost, you could almost say they, they are puzzled together from circles. You see one here, you can see one here, and one here. Yeah, a small one here, and a big one over here. So yeah, you can definitely see how they are created like this. Look at that, it's, it's, it, looks, it looks like it's been bitten out of the land. By someone with only a very limited amount of teeth, but uh, you get my point. Well, also this. So yeah, the legs always look a bit like... Uh, a bit similar to each other, but I believe that's something you can look over and you don't need to pay that close attention to. I'm just noticing it, but it's, it's not like I'm criticizing it, I'm just noticing because I have to say something. Anyway, next time we'll hopefully finally see some actual ale being made. Uh, we're not buying ale, mind you, but we have a stone merchant, so I want all of those stones. All 200 of those. I said 200 of those. You can have 120 of those. We're overpaying by a thousand units, so we'll get the uh, 200 iron and we're even. So trade that. I also want those. Uh, Yes, I actually do. So I'll give you 170 of those. And you give me 100 steel tools. Trade and dismiss. So that was a good trade. Uh, finally. And with that, I'm going to break up the episode. I'll see you all next time. Bye.